morning and welcome to today. It's not even actually morning. I can't even remember if I started the vlog yet. But we are here with Mr. Kitty. Say hello. For some reason, kitten cats are like coming up to me a lot lately. Oh my God. He has green eyes too. He has green eyes. Anyway, welcome to today's video. We're here at the barn. We are gonna do a little ride. We have a schedule that we do every single week. Similar schedule, sometimes different. This week is different because our boys got time off after the show, or at least Finn got time off. And then Chino got time off by default. But Gabby comes every single day for Chino. I, we just don't vlog it every single day. Or maybe we do, I don't know, I can't remember. I'm going through like a time where I can't remember. <laughs> When you vlog so much, you can't remember what you showed or what you didn't. Wait, because a lot of the time I cut stuff from the vlog. My thighs are sore. Oh, I know that feeling when your thighs are sore. Can I ask for hey, I got a treat for your horse. Oh, cool. Got a treat for your horse too. All right, I'm staying here because I know where oh, you. You're coming with me. No, I, you guys got to go long and far. No, you. <laughs> I'll be waiting here for you. <laughs> Why don't you start wearing boots, sister? Those are brand new. I made it. Guess Sophie made it. <laughs> I got some brave girls here. Super brave girls. She didn't sink, but she's got warm boots on. Look, he just goes over. So uh, you guys know we've been struggling with Chino a bit. And every time we have a problem with him, it always turns out to be like the simplest little thing that we overlooked, that we didn't understand, that we didn't figure out. And so lately his back has kind of been funny, like his shoulder area. And we're like, what the heck? The last time the chiropractor was here was not that long ago. And she said, he's so good, he's in great shape. And everything was great. And then, you guys know he lost weight this summer. And one of our trainers said, oh, you need to put on a saddle pad, like a half pad on his, under his saddle because he keeps slipping back. And so we did, and I forgot that every time we put a half pad on that horse, it always causes problems. Like, when you have six horses and you're trying to figure things out all the time, like, it's amazing how fast you forget. But anyway, yeah, it turns out that he cannot not have that half pad, and Gabby fought me when we were told to put it on him. She's like, no, I don't think he should use it, and then I was like, yeah, obviously the slipping back pedal is really bad, saddle is really bad, or... I don't know, it just turned out to be the stupidest decision ever. And we did, we put the half pad on, but no more half pad. So it's done, gone, finished. And he has gained weight, but Brandon said that lots of times high withered horses like him will always like have saddles that slip back, it just depends. But honestly, every single time we've added a half pad, and a lot of people only ride with half pads, I don't know if it's because we had our saddles professionally fit to our horses, even just recently, but every time we've added a half pad to our saddle, it's never been good for our horses, not ever, and I don't know why I said do it, like, it's the stupidest thing. We've got two horses. Because you have to jump? I'm not jumping, I'm walking. Alright, I'll carry you. You want me to carry you? Just joking. I don't want mud all over me. When you wear boots, it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, me. My boots have a hole in them. All right, there you go. But where did you walk I just walked anywhere because it doesn't bother me. It never gets old watching Gabby jump. How many hours does it take for your kid to get in and out of the paddock? Gabby's allergic to mud. She's back, she's back you guys. I went underneath the rope. Hello. I went underneath this rope, touched it with my back and got the shock of a lifetime, you guys. It still hurts. It doesn't just shock for a second, it still be hurting. One thing I like about blankets is that it protects them from getting bites, but then it also like puts pressure on places and I like this when we got them, it's big with a high withered neck. Yeah, Finn has one like that for winter. I don't even know if it still fits. I don't even know if it's still good. Hi. It is. It's still good? Finn's yeah. good with his blankets. Yeah, because he runs away from me. <laughs> yeah. You are a runner, not a fighter. It's a way to be, Finny boy. I mean, that's better than a fighter. <laughs> yeah. Ew, fighting. Comment below. Are you a fighter or are you a runner? I think I said this long ago. I am neither. I'm a fighter. Gabby's a runner. Sophie's a runner. Well, no. Hold on. You know? <laughs> Me in the haunted house. You are a runner. You're a runner. I mean like Dad's a runner. No. I'm neither because I'm just like 
I'm a okay. pusher. I push people through that. I mean, like, if you're fighting, if somebody makes you mad, what do you do? Oh, I get very quiet because if you weren't, like, I'd kill you all. Yeah, so Gabby gets quiet. Otherwise, I get mad every single day. I go home and cry. So Sophie's a crier. She's a silent girl. Oh, also, if I get really mad, I will cry. But that's only because I In can't anger. Cry when I'm sad. Yeah, well, Whenever so. Whenever I'm sad, I'm like. I do that too. I get like sometimes, I'm not anymore now that I'm older and I've worked through all that stuff. You cry when you're sad? No, like, oh, I cry when I'm sad. I cry. Like, if somebody tells me the, like, least, like, the tiny bit of, of, the tiniest bit of a sad story, I'm just bawling. Like, I, I know, same. I'm so, yeah, <laughs> Sophie and I are so empathetic. That's good for me because. Oh my gosh. I don't even know where you come from, Gabby, because Sam literally watches commercials and cries. <laughs> like, <laughs> but. No. When it comes down to it, if I get into a disagreement with somebody, so many people walk away or ghost people instead of like, instead of fight. And it's not that you should fight, but I think that friendships and relationships are worth fighting for and discussing and like getting it out in the open and working through it. But so many people just ghost people now instead of work through things. Vinny, you look so good in pink. The Ogilvy saddle pad is back, but look at the dirt on it. That's stained because I washed it. Anyway, the Ogilvy saddle pad is back. Sophie loves this this kind. He'd probably like it if he scratched his chest. She loves this kind of saddle pad. She's gonna get one for Christmas. She's asking one for Christmas. She wants a burgundy one. If you go to the Ogilvy website, you can design your own saddle pad. So she can get like burgundy and then with white piping and then I don't know whatever color. It's about time you arrived. I to have a bounce. All right, so if he's gonna do a bounce on Finny. Sparky teaches me to be more confident. Sparky teaches her to be more confident, Finn. So I don't know if Sophie's gonna actually do any bounces. She's probably just gonna be doing flat because we do not have all the time in the world. We come and we check on them and make sure they're okay. So Gabby's trying out Chino and seeing how he looks, seeing how he feels. Um, our vet said to like walk trot him and see if he's doing good. He pulled a muscle or he tripped the other day and was sore again, but hopefully he's okay. He's had some treatment. He's had everything he needs, so hopefully he's okay, but Gabby feels like his shoe's a little loose. Anyway, she's gonna try and see. So one thing that Chino has is his back end needs to be strengthened, so our vet wants us to walk trot him for a while, and that's what she's been doing until he tripped, and he seems to be recovered from that, but we're gonna see for sure before she starts to back in, strengthening his back end. <laughs> it's just a big, huge, disaster zone a lot of people are saying like you should ride him ever again or you should give him a like two month break or a four month break or whatever but a lot of things that happen with horses are, are not fixed with sitting in a field and not and losing muscle a lot of things that happen need better muscle like chino's back end so with him specifically with this little issue uh, our vet wants him to strengthen not decrease his muscle mass we are back in action. We are back into calm land. Finn has been calm. I do not know why. He's just been relaxed and calm and amazing. And uh, Chino just be walking. He's just a walking horse now. <laughs> I think if Gabby needs and wants an actual competition horse, she's definitely going to get a new horse. Lots of secrets coming up. Lots of surprises coming up in the near future. Lots of different things that we haven't told you guys yet, but we can tell you until the time comes. But stuff in the works, you guys. Process, things happening. I believe in just letting life play out, and and that is what's happening. Life is just playing out for us. I'm so happy and happy. <laughs> yeah, Sophie and Finn are like living it up. The They're the dream team now. Finn's just going slow. He's just listening to her. I, I feel like I'm leaning forward, and he starts getting faster and faster and faster. And he's like, okay, yeah, like she's learned so much with him that he's like comfortable. So now like it's just finessing. And then over there, Miss, oh, I rode with no stirrups for 10 minutes yesterday and now my legs are so sore. And I noticed Gabby getting into the wussy ages. Like there's mud, ew, mud. Oh, my thighs hurt. My thighs hurt, I can't do anything. You should practice right now doing no stirrups because you guys don't know, no, but he's bouncing. somebody threw a fit at rotting yesterday with no stirrups and she got out of it come on get working 20 minutes the vet said <laughs> sophie finally has the horse of her dreams they've worked together worked so hard
I've never, I've never actually, I've never actually ridden after my thighs ached before. This, because my thighs are going there and I'm trying to hold on and those are just literally. So I told my friend, like, everybody's freaking out about No Stirrup November and it was an awful lesson, you guys. Whoa. It was an awful lesson. People were flying off their horses, people were galloping, it was just crazy. Everybody was literally just freaking out. So I sent videos of Chino walk trotting to our trainer and he said, wow, he looks so much better. He looks so, so much better. And it was the half pad. It was the stupid half pad. To remember, no half pads on either of our horses. It causes problems every single time. Oh, yeah, here she goes. Yeah. So Chino's better, got rid of the half pad, doing so much better. Finney's doing awesome. And I want to show you guys something. This is what supper time at the barn looks like. All waiting, you can see who's the boss, who's not the boss way back there, but they're all waiting for supper. Some of them are kissing each other. <laughs> they're adorable. All right, Chino Bambino be hanging in the arena. He's like, yeah, yeah I love this I like 20 minute ride. Okay, so if you want you guys to see. I will literally land on your neck, on his neck. Leg. You did not land on his neck. What? I'm doing his blanket up. All right, we're done. Sophie had a gra fabulous ride. Chino had a fabulous ride. She thinks his one shoe might be a little loose. We're hoping it's not. But I think we have a plan if it is. Sophie wants me to give Finny his carrots. Okay, this is the plan. Guys, I have a plan. So, I don't know, I want you guys to tell me what you think, but basically, Chino came with hoof boots. That was our first clue that the dude needs, had feet problem, right? He came with hoof boots. So what if he does better without shoes, but hoof boots? So that's my question. Is any, have any of you guys done better without shoes and just had hoof boots, barring the fact that he's in a giant field blah 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 tell me if if you think it would work like no oh, i think we should try it are his huff boots here like if he loses another shoe i think we should try it like they're protective they're i don't know he came with them you guys his owner had had him his whole entire life 12 years and if she had hoof boots for him there's a reason right it's late and we're home and we didn't vlog that much today. I hate those days when we didn't vlog that much. I always feel like people tell me, people ask me all the time, like, how do you know what to vlog? You have to take my pumpkin and seeds out of your pumpkin. I know, I'm, I love pumpkin seeds. Or just seeds. give it all to the chickens. No, I'm having the pumpkin seeds. We gotta anyway. do all the hard work carting it. Okay, so anyways, my philosophy is just go out there and do it. Just go out there and do stuff. And today we did not go out there and do stuff. Anyways, my thighs are sore. <laughs> I had to add lag around the corner because my pony was going to stop and sometimes I had to like kick him so that he wouldn't stop and he's just like, oh fine, I'll keep going. But anyways, I'm sorry that we did not vlog too much but we'll be back at it tomorrow morning, first thing early and I wanted to tell you guys, I think we're on the right path with Chino again. It's just all our mistakes. It's just stuff like adding the stupid half pad that we were told to add. Like, I forgot. I don't know why I forgot. Like. I think it's because I'm not the one that puts it on. I'm not the one that tacks them up. Like, I gotta stop being in charge of all the stuff. Gabby, you gotta remember for your own horse now, and you gotta know what your horse can handle. Like, I'm Yeah, my pony was really good. Yeah, her horse has been once, really good. Um, once I started cantering the jumps, he was calm and didn't try to run away in the trap. Um, I also have a question. Do you guys like Arrow? Nobody likes Arrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?